not a huge fan and it's sucking the air out from under the car. Yeah? That makes the, the pressure under the car less than the pressure above. That car is held down against the road by atmospheric pressure, yeah? Right? He beat him by a lot. I mean, it was like the winged keel of the World Cup. I mean, it just, he just toasted people. He could go around corners, you know, he's, he's probably pulling G-force. He was like, <laughs> he, could, he was probably passing out going around those corners, right? He could speed by people. They then, after that, made a law, a rule that you can't suck the air out from under the car, right? But ground effects, that's what they're doing, is they're just reducing the pressure under your car. That increases your, your grip and you can go faster, right? Now, let's do something even more radical. Let's tip this up. Now, write this down, because this is on the quiz you'll take next time. It says specifically explain why this is, right? And if you can't do this, right, no, well, then that's sad, right? So we can bank this. This is an extreme bank angle. Extreme bank angle. Let's draw something like this, right? Here's the car coming around, right? This is our bank angle. Let's draw that even leveler. Here's our bank angle. And then here is, here is my car of my dreams heading toward you, right? It's like, okay. Now, here's the cool thing, is that roads, when they push on you, level roads push straight up, but tilted roads don't push straight up. They push, in general, perpendicular to their surface, right? So draw a little area there. That's the road, that's the force of the road on the car. Now, what's cool about that? What's different about that? Well, it's to the side, isn't it? Specifically, which way is it pointing? Which way? Where's the center of the cir of this circle? It's like over here, isn't it? Somewhere? Yeah. Here's the little center thing, right? So this has this portion here pushes. It has two components, right? This pushes the car toward the center. Yeah. And then, of course, why do you have to have a vertical component? That you still have to hold the car up. Isn't there still gravity pushing down, right? And this one just counteracts gravity. Uh, gravity. Right? you got to have like a force exerted on there, right? Okay. So, um, do you have to have friction if you have a proper bank angle? Can the road just provide enough force for you to go around the corner? I mean, this isn't generally how it's done. You generally rely on some friction, right? But you can make it. If you make this bank angle exactly right, you don't need friction to go around this corner. The road itself will make you go around the corner. Think about, um, do you guys ever make saucer sled runs? Can you steer a saucer sled? No, they just go down there. They follow the fall line and they follow their inertia, right? You really can't steer them, can you? So we would make saucer sled runs in Minnesota. We lived on a hill above a lake, right? And we would make, what we do is the saucer sled run would go straight down toward these trees, and then we put a huge banked corner. And my sister was a mechanical engineer. Not yet, but she was going to be, right? You know? And she would take the, she was the, the sculptor. She'd take a saucer sled and make the corner out of the saucer sled, right? And then we would throw snow to her. We were the lackeys. We'd throw snow to her. She'd shape it. When we got it the right shape, we'd spray it with a little water. It would be concrete. It was just like solid, right? You know? Okay. So we had one turn that turned you right toward the house. Then we had a, a turn built on the house, right? That turned you back straight so you could go down the hill onto the lake. We tried to build another curve like that. I distinctly remember as a child being up on the wall of the house sideways, hanging for dear life onto the sled, right? And just being like, just about sideways, just like, I'm five feet off the ground. I'm flying along. I'm sideways, right? We're just coming off there. There's no way, there's no sideways friction making me go around the corner. It was just that banked corner, yeah? yeah? Right, you look at the bobsled runs in the Olympics. Now they are using, they are taking a line through those corners, right? But they don't have to. They could, you could take a saucer sled down those, it wouldn't be fun. <laughs> you'd die, but you know. You, well, you'd get, your head would get crushed up into the turn, but they, they, you'd go around those corners, right? You know, you'd, you'd have, you have to have your helmet on. That's why they have helmets on, right? So let's make the ideal banked corner. For an ideal banked corner, this is going to counteract gravity, so that's mg, right? And this is going to push the car toward the center, so it's going to be mv squared over r, right? This angle here, is that the same as this angle? Are they congruent? Are they? Or is this angle congruent? 
No, no, this guy's not. This guy's congruent, isn't it? Is this guy congruent? With the other one? No, I think these guys are congruent, right? Aren't they? These are alternate interior angles. All right, so this guy's got to be congruent. This guy's got to be complementary to that guy. Right, so it's the same as this guy here. Mr. Capacious would be proud of me, right? So these two angles are congruent, aren't they? So this is also the bank angle. That angle there, the tangent of that angle, is the opposite. So it's mv squared over r divided by adjacent, right? Right? So that angle, write this down. This is just a handy little thing, right? That angle is the inverse tan. Of, and then we can cancel this, can't we? And it ends up being v squared over rg. Yeah? I think that's right. Yeah, that's fun, huh? So there's a new formula. I don't, you know, I don't think I give you, I don't ever ask you to like calculate that, I don't think. But put it on your data packet, because there it is. It's fun, right? Yay, bank corner. Okay, so the on-ramp onto I-5 from Nyberg is 40 meters in radius, maybe. Uh, what should the bank angle be? So let's say we want to be able to go 60 around that corner, right? Don't you think we should be able to, right? Drop that in your calculator. See if you can get. See if you can get uh, the angle from it. This guy here put in 27. This guy here put in uh, 40. This guy here put in 9.8. Yes, I do. Voila.